I am Brother Stephen Elabo, welcoming you to the Life Bible Church, Charlottesville, United States, a place where the undiluted Word of God is being preached. You are about to listen to our general superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, as a comfort to share the mind of God with you and your family. I want you to be ready to pick up your pen and your paper and jot down important messages as they will do you good. God bless you and remain blessed. Last day of the retreat in Jesus' name. Without any doubt, since we started on Thursday, the Lord has been working with us. The Lord has ministered unto us through our Father in the Lord and through various anointed ministers of the gospel. And all these ministers have poured out their heart and the heart of the Lord unto us. That as we prepare you, we are preparing ourselves so that at the end of the day, both we, the preachers, and you, the hearers, together we rejoice in glory. And I am praying that we all make it to the end in Jesus' name. I'm here to let you know that it is one thing to begin a race. It is another thing to finish that race. It is one thing to start well. It is another thing to finish well. It is one thing to begin strong. It is another thing to finish strong. I pray you will finish strong in Jesus' name. That is why at this time we are looking at the message titled Running the Race Courageously. Running the Race. Which race are we talking about? We are talking about the Christian race. Which race are we talking about? We are talking about the race to heaven because in life generally we are all in a race. Whether you are a believer or you are not a believer. Whether you are a Christian or you are non-Christian we are all in a race but what the term is the difference between us is the goal before us. The end of that race. The journey in which we have embarked upon whether uh, you are some people are in the race to become a politician. Some are in the race to become worthy or rich in the things of this life. Some are in the race to become academically uh, 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 up there. Some are in the race for different, some are in the race for beauty contest, but we are in the race for heaven. I say we are in the race for heaven and we will make it to the end in Jesus' name understand that as we say we are in the raid in the race there are some people that started the race and today they are no more some of them have even died and gone uh, to wherever they have ended as we talk about the race let me quickly tell us a few things uh, about a race again the race is something that everybody run the difference is whether you are running according to the will of God the plan and the purpose of God or you are running according to the will and the plan of man. Whether you are running to please the Lord or you are running to please the world, that is what makes the race that we are all running. Understand, race is a goal, a goal that must be pursued with speed, with focus, and with determination. It's a race that we pursue anybody in life, whenever they say they're in a race, they are always in a haste to get to that ending. And I can tell you that we are not letting down, we are not letting up our determination to make it to heaven and we'll get there in Jesus' name. When we talk about the race, race takes a lot of energy to do if it must be successful. If you must finish well, if I must finish well, then we need to put in a lot of energy, a lot of strength into it. Race is run with other competitors running along with us. Let's take a quick look at the book of Corinthians. I, I, I'm looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 24. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. And see what the Lord is saying concerning this race that we are engaged in. It says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run 
that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for, mal, for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown. But we, what kind of crown? An incorruptible. I therefore so wrong. And you therefore so wrong. Not as uncertainly. So fight I. Not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body. And bring it unto subjection. Lest that by enemies. When I have preached to others. I myself should be a cast away. That is why. I'm telling us that race, the race in which we are in, is being run by other people, competitors, competitors. And uh, with these competitors in the race, as we saw it in verse 24, understand that not everyone will make it to the end. The Bible says they that run in that race run all, run all but one Receive the price. I pray you will receive the price in Jesus' name. I told us that we're all in a race. That the race is a goal that must be pursued with speed, with focus and determination. That is a race that requires a lot of energy and the totality of our life. I told us that there are other competitors. You are in that race, I'm in that race, others are in the same race. And as we are in the race, understand some are tripping and falling. Some have been disqualified. You will not be disqualified in Jesus' name. The race, if it is something we all engage in, if it is something that must be pursued with speed, with focus and determination, if it is something that takes all the energy and the strength that we need, especially when you look at the athletes, they put in all the muscle, all the vein, the bone, everything comes to work. Their brain is calculating. They want to move at a very, very fast rate. It, it takes a lot of energy, a lot of energy, and if that is the case with a lot of other people in the race, understand also that there are spectators. There are people that are watching you. There are people that are watching me to see whether you will win that race. And I declare in the name of the Lord, you will win. There are people that are watching you and quite a number of them. God, your maker, Jesus, your savior. They are watching whether you will make it to the very end. The angels in heaven that have been assigned to you, they are watching. Whether you will make it to heaven, the heroes of faith, those that have come before us and now are in glory, they went through the trials of life, the battles of life, the storms of life, they passed through the flood, they passed through the fire, they passed through everything, they made it to the very end. They are watching whether you will run the way they run, whether you will endure the way they endure. Um, I pray by the grace of God, we will make it to the end in Jesus' name. But now understand that the enemy of your soul, the devil, is also watching. How you are running and strategizing how to hinder you from making it, he will fail. I said he will fail. In the name of Jesus, the demons are also watching. How you are running to see whether they will lose and you will win. And the line is drawn already. The battle line is drawn. As for me, I know who is going to win. I know as for you who is going to win. Those of you that believe the Lord holding on firm to the profession of your faith, not minding what happens in life. Together we are winning in Jesus' name. But now pay attention. There are people in the world that are watching. Your fellow believer is watching you. The unbelievers are also watching you. The people you have preached unto, they are watching you. The people you never got to preach unto, but they saw your life. They were observing your life. And then they were admiring your life. And then when the storm rages, when the wind blows, they are watching whether you will make it. I declare in the name of the Lord, by the power of the Lord, that we will make it to the end in Jesus' name. So, there are competitors. There are competitors. 
There are come, and then if all these are there, we need to understand that there is need for preparation. The race requires a thorough preparation, and this preparation must include all kinds of sacrifices that we can make. And uh, if you look at the people of the world, those that play soccer, people of the world, those that sing uh, for, uh, for making money, uh, if you look at the people of the world, the, model, the modeling people of the world, if you look at the athletes of the world, they make a lot of sacrifices to perform and to be where they are. And we, as believers, cannot do less. I say we cannot do less. And that is why whatever preparation, physical preparation, spiritual preparation, psychological preparation that we need to make, we will make everything and then we will make it to glory in Jesus' name. So then we understand that the Christian race is a race that we must win because it's one of two things. It's either you win it or you lose it. Why are we talking this way? Because, again, not all that started were able to finish up. Turn with me your Bible to the second book of Samuel, chapter 1, verse 27. Second Samuel, chapter 1, verse 27. And see what the scripture is saying concerning the possibility of losing the race. We'll read verse 27 and then we'll back up a little bit. It says, how are the mighty falling and the weapons of war perished? How are the mighty falling and the weapons of war perished? Now back up to verse 19. And see why you are running the race effectively, successfully. How you are the, 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 the favorite of the Lord. The beauty in the eye of the Lord. The glory of your time. Verse 19. It says, the beauty of Israel is slain upon the high, thy high places. How are the mighty falling? Tell it not in God. Publish it not in the streets of Ashkelon. Lest the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Lest the daughters of the uncircumcised triumph. Ye mountains of Gibeah, let there be no dew. Neither let there be rain upon you, nor fields of offering. For there the shield of the mighty is vilely cast away. The shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed with oil. From the blood of the slain. From the fat of the mighty, the bow, the bow of Jonathan turned not back, and the sword of Saul returned not empty. Saul and Jonathan were lovely and pleasant in their lives, and in their death they were not divided. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than lions. Ye daughters of Israel, weep over Saul. I pray the world will not weep over you. I pray that heaven will not weep over you. Ye daughters of Israel, weep over Saul, who clothes you in scarlet with other delights, who put on ornaments of gold upon your apparel. How are the mighty fallen in the midst of the battle? O Jonathan, thou wast slain in thy high places, I pray. After you have gone up so high, you will not fall in Jesus' name. I am distressed for thee, my brother Jonathan. Very pleasant hast thou been unto me. Thy love to me was wonderful, passing the love of women. Everybody read verse 27. How are the mighty fallen? How are the mighty fallen? Mighty in faith. Mighty in word, mighty in miracles, signs, and wonders. How are they falling? How are they falling? And as you look at your life, as you look at your environment, you will come to understand that when you came to the Lord, when you came to the faith, there are some people, if you are vigilant enough, there are people that have been in the race ahead of you, that you are even thinking and praying, Lord, this is a good example to follow, and then you are aspiring to be like them, but as time passes by, you look around and such people are no more in the faith. 
You look around, some people have been put into a corner, deceived by the enemy. Such people, such people, you know, uh, there is this particular individual years back that was a worker in our church, the Palai Bible Church. Not just a worker, but a key leader, a key leader, a coordinator in the church. And all of a sudden, the enemy deceived him. And then he left the church. And after some time, he came back. Coming back now, not coming back to the church. He came back to see the general superintendent for whatsoever reason. And then by the time he came, his BS has so been. Now he had grown beers. And then, now he is called a prophet. And now the way he's not talking, now I am prophet B. I am prophet that. He has been deceived. Deceived. I pray you don't be deceived in Jesus' name. And then when you look at the life, when you look at the, uh, everything, there is nothing to correlate relationship with God. All that and just wanting to be called a prophet. I pray that Evil power of darkness will not prevail against you in Jesus' name. We are running to win a prize, and it is a race that must be run with the only single option of winning. There is no other option. In my own dictionary, there is no option of losing. There is no maybe I will fail. I will win, and you will win. I will succeed, and you will succeed in Jesus' name. It's lost. A, 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 a loss. It's not for you. It's not for me. Paul indicated the pattern of running that wins the prize and admonish us to so run that we may obtain. And if we are going to run to obtain the prize that is set before us, what then do we do? We run the race with conviction. Conviction. How saved are you? How saved are we? Are you really convinced that a man can live above sin? Are you really convinced that a man can live above self and live above the world and live above devil? Are you really, really convinced that except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God? Or you think you can still live a wishy-washy life and then make it to heaven? Are you really convicted of your sin, of your transgression? Are you saved? Are you born again? Are you washed by the precious blood of the Lord Jesus? So you must run the race with conviction. Conviction. And then you run the race with caution. There are a lot of traps on the way. There are a lot of port uh, portals on the way. There are a lot of things the enemy wants to do to bring you down, to destroy you, to eliminate you, and then make you regret at the end of your life. So we run with Caution, with caution. That is why First Corinthians chapter 9, we read this before, but let's look at just uh, the 26th verse over there and see what the word of the Lord says. It says, and every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. We run the race with conviction. We run it with caution. We run with concentration. Concentration. That's why I said it is something we run with speed, with focus and determination. We run with concentration. No